Have you ever looked in the mirror and asked, where do I come from? Not just your hometown, or your country, or even your family tree, but where do you really come from? Today, we dive into a story that stretches across continents, through ice ages, and over tens of thousands of years. We're exploring the fascinating origins of what we commonly call white people, the journey, the transformations, and the science that reveals a much deeper truth about all of us. This isn't about race, it's about humanity. It's about how we've all evolved, adapted, and connected in ways you might never have imagined. So, let's begin. At the beginning, all of us, regardless of color, culture, or nationality, share a common origin. Modern humans, Homo sapiens, first appeared in Africa around 200,000 to 300,000 years ago. They lived in hunter-gatherer communities, using stone tools, learning to control fire, and surviving through their connection to nature. For tens of thousands of years, Africa was the only place where humans lived. This is where we took our first steps, spoke our first words, and began forming the early bonds of society. We were all, originally, black, because in Africa's strong sunlight, dark skin protected us from harmful UV rays. It was a natural, powerful adaptation. But change was coming. Around 60,000 to 70,000 years ago, small groups of humans began migrating out of Africa. They crossed into the Middle East, then branched into Europe, Asia, and eventually the rest of the world. This migration wasn't a single moment. It happened in waves, over thousands of years. People moved with the seasons, following food, water, and safer climates. And as they entered Europe, they encountered a world completely different from the one they left. It was colder, darker, and covered in massive glacier. In this frozen wilderness, new challenges would shape their bodies and their future. The first Europeans were dark-skinned humans. That's right, those who arrived in Ice Age Europe still carried the melanin-rich skin of their African ancestors. They lived alongside Neanderthals, another human species already inhabiting Europe. And sometimes, they interbred with them. To this day, many Europeans still carry small percentages of Neanderthal DNA. These alien hunter-gatherers braved the icy forests, hunted mammoths, and lived in caves. Over thousands of generations, their bodies adapted to the environment, shorter limbs, bulkier builds, and, eventually, lighter skin. But how did that happen? Skin color is not just a cosmetic difference, it's a biological response to sunlight. In sunny regions like Africa, darker skin protects against sunburn and skin cancer. But in cloudy Europe, there was a different problem, vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D is produced when skin is exposed to sunlight. In places with less sun, lighter skin helps absorb more UV rays, making it easier to produce vitamin D, which is essential for strong bones and a healthy immune system. So, over thousands of years, natural selection began to favor lighter skin, lighter eyes, and lighter hair in northern populations. Not because it's better, just because it was more useful in that specific climate. The people we now call white didn't emerge from one group, but from three ancient populations blending over time. Western hunter-gatherers, these were the early dark-skinned Europeans living in Ice Age forests. Neolithic farmers, around 9,000 years ago, people from the Middle East brought agriculture to Europe. They settled, built villages, and transformed the European landscape. Yemner herders, around 5,000 years ago, herders from the Eurasian steppe arrived with horses, wagons, and new tools. They are believed to have spread into European languages. These groups mixed, fought, traded, and married. They built the foundation of what we now think of as modern Europeans, diverse, complex, and always evolving. It's tempting to imagine ancient Europeans as a single race or tribe, but history doesn't work that way. Europe has always been a crossroads of people. Romans, Greeks, Moors, Vikings, Celts, Slavs, and countless others moved across the continent over millennia. Each migration, each empire, and each cultural exchange added new layers to the European genetic and cultural identity. So when people talk about pure European bloodlines, they are missing the point. There is no such thing as pure. Human history is a story of movement, mixing, and change. So, where did white people come from? From Africa, just like everyone else. They simply took a different path, geographically and biologically. They adapted to Europe's cloudy skies, mixed with migrating cultures, 
and became a new branch of the human family. But that branch is still connected to the same ancient tree. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. Because underneath it, we're all 99.9% .9 genetically the same. Thanks for joining us on this journey through time. If you learned something new today, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and share this video with someone curious. And remember, the past isn't behind us, it's within us. We're not separate species. We're one human family, with one incredible story.